Hi, I'm Archana Pathak. I'm, uh, I'm an artist and I use textile and stitch as my medium to make my art. And uh, my practice is to collect old artifacts like photographs, letters, postcards, maps. And uh, I create a, it's like a deconstruction of these artifacts and create a new artwork out of it. That's the process of my making art. And uh, this is a tree of life. It's, uh, it's the work that I created at the beginning of my practice. And uh, at this point of time, I was trying to make sense of uh, the place I was in. So I, I am born and brought up in India and uh, living and working in London. So in 2017, I started collecting uh, artifacts uh, closer to the place that I was living. And this was one of the map, uh, London map, that uh, I was working on. So here I was trying to map out green spaces in the map. And eventually it showed up to me as a, as a tree of life, which was, uh, which was very interesting. And then I translated that onto, onto the textile with a transfer print and embroidered it. And this work was, uh, there was another version of it, which I made in 2018. Uh, wherein I combined a London map and map of India, hence addressing my dual belonging in India and here. And that work was uh, actually created for Transformation 10, uh, the contemporary works in farm material, and was exhibited in US uh, in 2019. So this has uh, been a special uh, artwork that at the beginning of my journey to explore the transient nature of identity. Uh, this series of work is called uh, titled In Layer of New Worlds and uh, this was made in 2020-21 uh, during lockdown and COVID times. Uh, at this point of time I, I was wanted to address the question are we going back to the same world after, after COVID so that was a persistent question that was coming to me. So. Uh, here, what I was trying to create was uh, new worlds, which was uh, in, I created in seven spheres. So, seven was also a number where, in different uh, countries and religion, it's considered uh, of a new birth and uh, something of a new beginning. So, hence, seven new worlds. And uh, this piece is named Displaced, which talks about displacement in many forms. Um, this is of two lands. It is personal to me because it has a map of UK and India combined. It's like a landscape of dual identity. And uh, this is called a melange, which is, and I was trying to create by mixing uh, maps of many places to create a world of coexistence with no borders. Here, this one is imagined landscape again of mixing various maps and creating a landscape of uh, many places. This piece is called On. It's literally a place which you're on, as in wherever you are. It's literally that means that. This is a coalesque. It means a place of coming together, becoming whole. So here I have uh, mixed all my artifacts collected in my practice and created this uh, small world of uh, those collection. And the last piece is actually about uh, going back to nature. There is an old image of a tree and it's been stitched uh, with mixed maps of many places. This series of work is called Reimagined Landscape and this was created in 2021 and 22. So here, uh, this is extension of my uh, previous series of work and uh, I continued uh, mixing maps of many places and countries and the attempt here was to create landscapes made out of many places and it was inspired by, by nature, uh, a rhythm of a day. So the, this piece is called to rise, this is to flow, this is to set and that one is, is to be, which, uh, which is again uh, talks about harmony, coexistence, multiplicity, and uh, 
and oneness. So that was uh, the idea that I was uh, trying to create out of these pieces. Uh, I, I collect these uh, maps of lots of country randomly. It's not that I've been there or I know that place and then I mix them and create something new out of it. I think it's coming from from a place of uh, finding your place in the world and uh, not belonging to, to a place and being, uh, as, in, as in, how do you put it? There's this, uh, there's this author that I'm really inspired by called Alif Shafak and she talks about uh, these issues and things like uh, uh, about your identity where you're, you're not um, it's not about you know being of of one place. You can be rooted in many places. So she talks about a tree uh, in Africa, which is like its roots is not on the ground. It's like in the sky. So it's, it's something it's something like that. As in your uh, the world can be of your world can be of many places, not just one. So uh, the starting point is I collect old uh, old maps and then I scan them to make them into image. I heat transfer them on a cotton fabric. Then I cut very fine laces with scissors and hands. And that's like a process that is like now part of my making. So I keep cutting and keep stitching with it. So yeah, that's how I do it. I don't cut the actual map. I print them and then make laces out of, make my own thread out of it. I mean, it's a rich palette to work with. Which I, which I create out of old maps, yeah. Uh, this is an ongoing new series of work uh, called Mini Maps. And uh, this I started making during, again, in 2020 when it, there was a lockdown. So there was something about making small pieces and working with circles, which I don't know the reason why. It's just to give me a lot of uh, joy and freedom. Again, I'm working with maps, mixing maps here again to map out feelings and thoughts and uh, yeah, and just essence of an experience into a little circle, in these little circles. So yeah, uh, and I've continued making them till, till now and really, really enjoy them. Uh, this work is titled Transient uh, Boundaries. This is, I think, uh, my first piece of work with map and map threads that I made. And uh, it's actually made out of a very old found map of Paris. And what I think the whole idea of working with maps and exploring identity and its transience started from this piece, uh, wherein um, I was just trying to blur the border of this big old map by keeping some bits of map and then stitching and exploring the, the transience and the borderlessness of a map. So here in this particular work I've used a seed stitch and a French knots and, and in my work I just use these three stitches uh, which is a running stitch also known as kanta and uh, French knots and seed stitch. So that's the three stitches that I create my work with. I hope you enjoyed looking at my work and thank you for watching.